Cool, what's up guys? Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about a brand new extension from Fredo 6 for editing and working with guides inside of your SketchUp models. So this extension was voted on by my supporters on Patreon. So one of the perks of being a supporter on Patreon is you get to vote on the extension that I cover every week. So if that's something you're interested in, you wanna check that out, maybe support the show, uh, make sure to check out that link in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so you can download this extension in the Sketchication plugin store. I will link to this in the notes down below. So not only is the extension in here, and it's free by the way. So in addition, there's also a forum post with more information on this. So it gives you all of the information that you need. I will link to that in the notes down below as well. And one other thing is this extension does require libfredo, Fredo's library of different uh, dependency files to be installed. So I will link to that in the notes down below as well, but you're also going to need to install that. And so my example model in this case is the 3D warehouse model Northern Prairie Home by Fu Guang Li. So if you're looking for that, you can uh, look for Northern Prairie Home and it should show up. And so basically what this extension does is this extension is designed to help you work with guides inside of your model. So guides is something that they're, they're very helpful. You can create a bunch of them inside of your model for different inferencing and other things like that, but they kind of start getting in the way after a while and there's not a lot of functions contained inside of SketchUp for editing them. And so this extension gives you some extra tools that can change that. And so really, if you look at this, there's four buttons, but there's really three different options in here. This first button just pops up a quick launcher um, with these different tools in it. So, but basically you can click on these buttons and get the same thing. But there's three tools contained in here. The first is the protection of guides. And so what protection of guides does is protection of guides gives you the ability to protect guides from being deleted. So for example, um, a lot of you probably have used the function before for deleting guides. And so that is contained up in edit, delete guides. So if you click on that, what that'll do is that'll delete out all of the guides inside of your model, which is a great tool to have. It's a great function to have, but sometimes some of those guides, you want to keep them in there. And so up until this point, there's been no way to protect individual guides, but this tool allows you to do that. And so the way that it works is you can just select different guides by doing a shift click and clicking on these. And then once you select those guides, then there's a button in here for protect selection. And so when you click on the button for protect selection, what that's gonna do is that's gonna save these guides in here so that if you delete all of the guides in your model, the ones that you protected won't get deleted. And so if we were to go up to edit, click on delete guides now, you can see how the guides that we had in here that were protected do not get deleted. And so that can be very helpful if you have a number of different guides you wanna keep, but you wanna get rid of the rest of these to keep your model from getting all cluttered and things like that. And so um, you could also protect all of your guides if you wanted to, or if you wanted to unprotect, you can either unprotect all or, and we'll just undo this so that all of our guides are in here. But let's say for example, you just wanted to unprotect one guide, you can click on it and then this button will light up and you can unprotect your selection. And then now if we do an edit, delete guides, that guide that we had, uh, that we deselected or that we removed will get deleted with the others. And so in addition, I really like this feature. There's an option for changing the stipple of the line, meaning the dot pattern of the line, if it's protected. And so you can actually see which ones are protected and which ones aren't. And so the way that you can do that is by clicking on this button right here. And then you can see how there's a number of different stipple patterns in here that you can select. So for example, let's say that for the ones that are protected, we wanted them to be all dots. We could just select the all dots and click on OK. And you can see how now, if I look at these guides, these ones with the dots, I can visually see are going to be protected. These ones with the dashes are not going to be protected. So this is something that makes it really easy to see what guides you have selected inside of your model. And so this button will put you in an interactive mode. So an interactive mode means that this will mouse over different things and it'll turn different ways or different, uh, you'll get a different mouse cursor icon. So I can come in here and I can click on lines in interactive mode to protect or unprotect those different guides really easily. 
So you can see how I can click on this right here to make it protected or not protected. So if you don't want to do this with the other tools, you can use the interactive mode in order to do that. And then once you're done, you can just click on the uh, um, you can just click anywhere to exit out of that tool. And so these other two functions are actually buttons for these tools right here. So the first function enables uh, the protect guides mode. The second function allows you to just quickly toggle these on and off. And so that's something that's really helpful. And basically what it's doing is I think it's going in here and just changing your style settings. So I think if you were to go in here and check this box or uncheck this box, um, guides would turn on and off. So so this is just a quicker way to turn that off without you having to go in and edit your style. So you can use this in order to adjust that. And then this other button right here allows you to set the colors of your guides. So like for example, in this model, I have different areas where these don't stand out very well. You can't see them very well. Well, if you click on this button right here for set guides colors, that's going to pop up a color selector that's going to allow you to set different colors for your guides. And so I believe this is just going through and changing that style setting as well. So I think it's just changing your guide setting in here. So you can do um, the color and visibility stuff by editing your styles if you want to. This is just a lot easier than going in and working with your styles toolbar. But you can use this to change all of your guides different colors really quickly. So you can also favorite colors if you want to do that, or you can load in different color palettes. But um, for example, in this model, going to like white guides might make this a little easier to see your guides and to work with them. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Have you tried this extension? Do you find these functions helpful? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.